This video is about craters, and more particularly impact craters. Those are craters that are formed by the impact of a projectile at high speed onto a surface. Now you'll see I've got two photos here. The bottom one is of the Kali meteor crater on the island of Sarema in the Baltic. I've actually been there and it's about 100 metres across and you can see just about some people standing along the rim of the crater here. The top one is of the moon, of course, and uh, one particular crater that I'm rather fond of there is called Clavius. It has a diameter of about 230 kilometres compared with the 100 kilometres of the crater in Sarema. Well, on the table, I've got some possible surfaces and we're going to do a simple experiment to have a look at the effects of various projectiles on these surfaces. The one on the right, this one over here, is actually sand and this one is flour. So let's try, first of all, two similar sized projectiles. These are actually marbles, right? First of all, I think we'll go for the flour, first of all. Well, it sinks right in. Next, the sand. A very, very nice rim. And you can see now why I've got low level light. You see a lovely shadow of the crater wall coming from the bottom as you see it. We'll now try a slightly larger uh, marble into the flower. Again, right in and into the sand. Again, a lovely crater. They overlap, don't they, a little bit, very similar to some of the effects on the moon. And finally, two ball bearings. First of all, the flower, right into the flower, and you would have seen some of the flower is blown out, just like happens on the moon, only with the moon, it's rock that gets slung out. And last of all, then, the ball bearing into the sand. Again, a beautiful circular crater. The good thing about these ball bearings is they're magnetic, so we can actually get them out without damage to the crater. And my suggestion for you for practical work is you might like to try with magnetic ball bearings, doing some craters, looking at the different crater sizes, that's diameter and depth, compared with the height. And of course you can calculate their speed when they hit the surface of the sand to simulate the effect of craters um, formed on the moon by high speed meteorite impact. Of course, many craters on the moon were formed by volcanic effects, but we're sticking here just to the impact crater.